everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog quick fire guide, this time on rocking list mode. So there's two fundamental crawling modes in the SEO Spider. Spider, which enables you to crawl a website, which is the mode that you can see here with the address bar, and lists, which enables you to upload a list of URLs and crawl them only. Now to switch to list mode, just click on mode and then list and you can see that it's changed straight away. Now list mode isn't really that different to regular spider mode. There's two key differences. First of all, the interface has changed and it shows an upload button instead of an address bar. So you can click on this and upload a list of URLs from a file. You can enter them manually, you can paste them in, or you can download an XML sitemap and crawl those URLs. And number two, most importantly, the limit crawl depth config gets applied. Now this config is under configuration, spider limits. And you can see here that this has been applied and it's set to zero. Now this means that only the URLs you upload in list mode will be crawled. It won't crawl these URLs and their images. It won't crawl these URLs and external links or anything else. It's only these URLs. Now, there is a slight caveat to that. This is unless you're in JavaScript rendering mode where the SEO spider also needs to crawl page resources to accurately render the page in its headless Chrome browser. Now, there's a couple of initial things you should be aware of in list mode when uploading a list of URLs. First of all, you need to supply the protocol. So if I input a URL without protocol, so without HTTP or HTTPS, this is what happens. It says completed reading, found zero URLs. And obviously if I go back and do the same, and then enter the protocol and press next, it's now found the URL and we'll crawl and display the URL in the window. The second thing to remember is that it normalizes URLs on upload and dedupes them during the crawl for unique URLs only. So let's say you have the following four URLs. The SEO spider will automatically work out how many of these URLs are genuine unique URLs and only crawl those unique URLs. So for a small list like this, it's pretty clear that there's a dupe here of the SEO spider page. And obviously this is a fragment URL. So this part of the URL won't be crawled, which means that it's also a du duplicate too. Um, so if I click next, you can see that the SEO spider has actually normalized the fragment URL because the homepage is there twice. And it's saying completed reading found four URLs. And if I click OK, it will only crawl unique URLs. So it only crawl these two URLs. However, there is still a way to export the list of URLs uploaded in the exact order that they were uploaded. Now, first of all, you can just use this export button, which just exports the view that you have here via the tabs and the filter. But if you use the export button at the top, it will export those URLs that you uploaded in the order that you um, you uploaded them in. So let's do it. If I export that just to the desktop and I open up this export, you can see it here. So the original address is the original URL uploaded in the SEO spider and it's in the same order. So you can see here the home page, the fragment, and the two SEO spider pages. And then the address column shows the actual URL that the SEO spider crawled. So this allows you to obviously match this back to any other data that you have, any other spreadsheets and things like that. Um, nice and easily. Now, this leads us on to a couple of cool features in list mode. First of all, list mode can be super powerful and allow you to crawl a list of URLs you upload and another element. So I will show you this process. I will just clear the config to make sure it's default. So first of all, you need to remove the crawl depth limit. Let's say that we want to crawl the SEO spider page, the SEO spider page here and its images on it. I need to go to configuration spider limits, remove the crawl depth. Now if I crawl now and simply paste that URL in, it will crawl the SEO spider page and every other page it links to out to, so the whole website. So if I pause that and clear it, the way to crawl, to control the crawl from this point is to use this, the granular configuration options under configuration spider here. So I just need to remove crawl from meta refresh and any of these that might be ticked. 
and if I just leave images, it will still crawl the images. So if I click OK, go to Upload, Paste, and crawl the SEO Spider page, we can now see that it's crawled all the images as well. And if I go back to configuration and untick images, and let's say I wanted to crawl the external links as well, I can tick that and click paste again. We can see that the SEO spider page has been crawled. And if I go to external, these are the external links from that page, which could be really useful, for example, for broken link building or something along those lines. So these options allow you to be laser focused in your auditing. So if there's been a change made on the website to a specific set of URLs and their canonicals or hreflang or AMP or whatever it might be, this functionality gives you that focus to be able to crawl specifically what you want. The next cool feature I want to talk about is auditing redirects in list mode. So I just go to file, config and clear the config again so it's back to default so if you're auditing redirects in a site migration in list mode there's a little option that we always recommend using called always follow redirects so let's see what happens when we have a redirect in by default so if you go to upload and if i paste in this particular url which i know redirects and click next and okay we can see that it simply comes back with a 301 and if I click on response code, I can also see the destination of that 301. It goes to this page, but it doesn't follow that redirect. It doesn't tell me what the redirect status is of the target URL and whether there's a chain and onwards. So obviously, if you have 100,000 URLs, you don't want to have to copy the redirect target and then re-upload them every time. So this is where the always follow redirect configuration comes in handy. So go to configuration spider advanced and click on always follow redirects. Now, if I go to upload paste and click okay and go back to the internal tab, I can see what happens here. So I can see very accurately that the redirect goes to the secure version and then goes to the www version. And so the redirect has been followed until the final destination, which is a 200 status code. Now this does work alongside the limit. So if I go to configuration spider limits, I can see that max redirects to follow is set to five. So this will follow up to five redirects, but you can set this up to whatever number. And so this is really useful if you're redirecting, uh, if you're auditing redirects in, in a site migration. And I recommend using the reports, redirects, all redirects, export, which maps these out. So if I open this report up, this maps out the number of redirects found, the address, so the original address that you uploaded, the final address, and the final indexability, whether it's indexable or non-indexable, and it maps out all the hops along the way as well. So this is super useful if you have 100,000 or, or more URLs um, to audit in a migration. So that's everything on list mode. Check out our guides on using list mode and auditing redirects in the video description. And until next time, thanks.